It was Valentine's Day and I was in the first grade. A boy named Marvin liked me and I was irritated by that fact because I liked a boy named David Maxwell who didn't like me. So Valentine's morning, our teacher decides that we're going to do the Valentine exchange in a very orderly way, row by row. I look over at Marvin's row and I see at his desk, he has these three gifts three gifts on his desk, white paper, beautiful red ribbon, and I start thinking, what if Marvin drops those gifts off at my desk? I am gonna be horrified. Sure enough, Marvin's row gets up, comes down my row, and he drops those three gifts on my desk, gives me a smile, and keeps walking. I am horrified. I don't want to touch these gifts. I don't want to have anything to do with them. I even try to give them away to a girl sitting next to me. Meanwhile, I see my teacher just glaring at me. After the Valentine exchange, she called me up to her desk and she said something in a low voice that I'll never forget. She said, Antoinette, if you don't want those gifts that Marvin gave you, why don't you just politely take them home and you can give them away there, but don't hurt his feelings in the middle of the class. How come she was thinking all about Marvin and not even recognizing my embarrassment of him giving me these gifts in front of everybody? But never once did I think about the fact that Marvin's mother probably took him to the store and helped him pick out these gifts and wrapped them and he so proudly brought them that morning only for me to treat him so poorly. What a life lesson. How often as adults do we only think about ourselves? When somebody shows us kindness, whether it's a text or an email, an invitation, they give us a gift or even a smile and we just don't even acknowledge it because we're too busy thinking about ourselves. Instead, when someone shows you kindness, you don't have to be best friends with them, but at least extend gratefulness and appreciation, showing them that you value them as a person. Always remember to respect another person's feelings. Even if it doesn't mean anything to you, it may mean everything to them.